gosh, I'm so sick of this. Who is this guy sleeping beside me? He is so weird. I don't want him to know that I can talk. What if he's a murderer or something? What if he's trying to kill me? And those two little kids, who are they? And what am I doing here? Oh gosh, I have an idea. He must be a murderer. He must have kidnapped me. I need to kill him before he kills me. I better go to the kitchen and try find the knife. Maybe I can get rid of him and escape from this huge castle. Now it's time for me to get rid of him. It's either me or him. I'm not a murderer, but I'm scared of him and his little kids. I need to murder them all. I need to kill them. Leah, is that you? Is that you talking, Leah? What, what, uh, what's going on? Leah, what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's the, what are you got the knife for? Oh my gosh, have you, have you been sleepwalking? This is so strange. Okay, let me just get the knife. Just make sure that you don't hurt yourself. Maybe just come over here and just take a seat. Just get back on the bed and just sit down, Leah. This is so strange. Okay, look, I've got the knife, okay? Just don't worry about it. You're not going to hurt yourself. Or maybe maybe you were just trying to make me a sandwich. Maybe you're just trying to be a nice wife again. Mm -hmm. I know you, I, oh, you, can, you, can you understand me, Leah? Mm -hmm. Are, are you in there? Mm -hmm. oh Leah, uh, look, we taught you how to walk yesterday. And maybe now you're learning how to talk. And maybe, maybe you just wanted to make me a sandwich. It's okay. Look, uh, I'll go down. I'll make some sandwiches for us in, in the kitchen. I'll get baby Kyla, and then maybe we can start teaching you how to talk. And you don't worry about a single little thing, okay? You just sit here, maybe do your makeup, put your clothes on, and I'll be back in a second, okay? Baby Kyla, uh, what's going on? Are you up oh, here on your own? Oh, uh, yeah, I was just going to do a little workout, Daddy. You know, because okay. I heard that exercise is good for you, especially in the mornings. Yeah, it's pretty awesome for you. You know what? We'll do some exercise another day because today I've got some big news. We talked what? to mom how to walk again yesterday. Uh -huh. And this morning I woke up and she was standing over the bed. I think she was trying to make me a sandwich because she had a big knife in her hand. And she was just standing there with a the knife in her hand. So uh, um, I don't want this big knife. Take it away. Take, take it away. Give it back to me. I'll put it back in the kitchen, okay? I think she got it from down there. I don't know why she had the knife in her hand standing over the bed. But I got up and I asked her what's going on. And she kind of like responded with some noises she didn't actually speak but i think she's trying to learn how to talk again mm, it's really weird do you think she took that knife to like spread butter over your sandwich and then she forgot about it and then she came upstairs and was just randomly looking over you while you're sleeping yeah something like that because she probably forgot how to even make a sandwich uh -huh. or where the ham or the cheese or the bread even was so i think today we're gonna have to teach her how to talk and uh, maybe we can get her to start being normal again Alright, well, I don't know, Daddy. It's really hard to teach a person how to talk, but I guess we could try. The only thing that I could think of, I learned how to talk because you and Mommy were always talking to me. So I think you should always talk to Mommy, and this way she will start talking again. But you need to make something really nice for her, so I was thinking... Why don't you set up a really romantic picnic for her? And then she'll see it and she'll be like, oh my gosh! And that'll be her first words. That's an awesome idea. Okay, that's really, really cool. Do you know mm -hmm. what? Right now she's down in the bedroom. She's putting on some clothes and putting on some makeup. So maybe me and you can sort out the picnic out in the front. Yeah! And then we can bring her down. I can start talking to her. And uh, maybe she'll remember how to talk. Of course she'll remember, Daddy. I know that for sure. You know what? She couldn't even walk a few days ago. And now she can walk. No problem. You know why? Because of us. Because we're very positive. And we're supporting her. And we love her. And she can feel that. So we're uh, going to so do the same thing just with talking. Trust look, me. It I will got be fun. some fruit. I got some turkey. And I got some awesome. cookies. What else yeah. can we get? Donuts. Some donuts. donuts. Yeah, chocolate donuts. Awesome. Some sandwiches then, there as well. Some burgers. Can we get some juice. Some apple juice. That's great. Uh, I'll get oh cupcakes as well. More donuts. Awesome. I got some salad and I got some plates too. Oh, 
amazing daddy. I'm telling you, she's going to love this. And it's so, so romantic. Now, where will we set it all up? Mm, well, let's go outside and do it because the weather is fantastic and she loves being outside. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking outside as well, daddy, because it is a picnic. But where exactly? We need some... <gasps> Beside baby Hugo's old house. Let's go. Can we Let's do, do it, it there? It's going to be so nice out there. Mm -hmm. We could just do it right here as well. Over here? No, because you'd want something more private where nobody can see you guys. Excuse it's me. Come be through so the bed. Much better. Sorry. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Coming okay. through. Coming oh, through. Oh, yeah. Look, 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 look. Just over here. This is where. Did you get Yay! married over here? Maybe. Mm, it seems to be doing <laughs> Okay. There's That's a little disco funny. here. Awesome. She would stuff. love Look, Daddy, there's the fruit. Uh -huh. Then we got some cookies. Then we got some turkey as well. Put the plates down so I can put all of these on it. There's plates right there. Awesome. Salad yeah. and donuts together. Sorry, <laughs> putting it all together. Lovely, looks delicious. Oh there's my god. Okay. Here, now we've got an here. awesome picnic set up, and now we have to do is get Leah down here, uh -huh. have a chat with her, and see if she starts talking again. So look, Daddy, you bring her over here, and you say over here, say Leah, I love you so much, and then you say let's go eat and dance, and then you come over here and you eat and dance here, and then when you get tired, you can sit down and eat some more. Wouldn't that be great? It's perfect. She's going to love it. She's definitely going to start talking again. You know what? We're going to get Leah back. Uh, your mommy and my wife. She's going to be back with us. And everything's going to be perfect all over Yay! again. Yay! And soon we're going to have baby twins. It's going to be awesome. Oh, hey, Leah. How are you doing? Uh, it looks like you got up anyway and got your clothes on. Are you feeling much better today? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay, come on. Follow me. I've got a big surprise for you. Myself and your baby Kyla, uh, we decided to do a little bit of a surprise for you just to make you feel a bit better. And because you started walking yesterday again, we were thinking maybe you're going to start talking today. Uh huh. Uh, okay, well, at least you're understanding what I'm saying. And maybe we'll have some nice food and sit down in this nice picnic area. And then you can start saying some words back to me. Mm. Just come through this way. So this is, look, this is uh, some old houses we have. That's Baby Hugo's old house, and Baby Kyle's old house. And down here, I've set up like a really, really nice picnic. So this is where Baby Kyle had a kind of a silly little wedding with one of our friends, but it was just messing. Mm. So, um, Leah, I just want to let you know that um, I really love you and that we miss you so much and we want you back and we want you back talking again. And uh, Baby Kyle and Baby Kyle miss you and we can't wait to have the twins. And we're That's going to it! That's Watch it! On. Leah, I'm you're talking again. I'm over this. I don't know who you are, mister, and why you kidnapped me, but you gotta let me go, okay? I need you to go back to my house. This is not my house. I don't remember any of this. And who are those little babies? Leah, what are you talking about? This is your house. This is our house together. We are married. Your name's Leah. My name's Donny. We were dating for ages. We got married. This is your house as well. That's your baby son and your baby daughter, baby Kyle and baby Kai. And you're pregnant with two more twins as well. We're going to have a huge family really, really soon. What? Excuse me, mister. I don't know who you think you are, but you're definitely not my husband. I'm not married. I don't remember ever having kids. And this big belly? I'm pregnant? What? Yeah. Look, what just come over here. On? Just have some food. Look, I got your turkey, your favorite. I'm not we got hungry. donuts, cupcakes. We got cookies, we got everything. Come on, it's your favorite. And what is this place anyway? This, this is my thing... palace. I'm little Donnie. I'm a prince. This is my palace. We got married, so now it's your palace as well. You're a princess now. What? I'm a princess? Yeah. And you're absolutely. a prince? Absolutely. And so... I'm going to be the king soon, and you're going to be the queen once uh, my parents aren't here anymore, and we're going to take over the whole kingdom. Okay, well, does that mean that this whole place is mine? Uh, well, yeah, half of it. Is okay. Half mine, half yours. Well, by the power of than me i throw you out of this palace i don't remember you mister and i'm sick of sleeping with you in the same bedroom you gotta leave i don't like what leaving are you talking with about? you you fell over you were trying to do up a new bedroom for the baby twins you fell over and you banged your head we had to take you to the hospital and you had to have a brain surgery and everything what are you making all of this up no like, of course not. i'm not making it up don't be silly. Look, we can go and talk to the doctor if you want. Maybe you should see the doctor because no. you're talking a little bit crazy. You're acting a little bit weird. So maybe you should see I the doctor. I don't want to see a doctor. Do you not understand? I don't know you. And you know what? I don't love you. Doctor. So stop saying that 
you love me Doctor, and that you miss me because I don't Can you have a look at my wife, you. please? She's acting crazy, talking silliness. Come I'm on, pretty sure that counter. this is uh, a vet. Did you hear oh, what yeah. I said? Sorry about that. I don't yeah. love you and I don't want to see you ever again. I'm here. out of here. No. Leave Got me some alone, flowers for you, you creep. Get away yeah, from not. me. I'm your husband. I'm not a creep. I'm your husband. We no, got married. You're not. And this is our family and this is our home. Look, these are our cars over here. Okay, and we've got fine. dolphins and there's a tree house and a dollhouse and this is the whole house. Well, I don't remember you. I don't remember those babies. So just leave me alone, okay? I'm going up to the bedroom. And when I come back downstairs, I don't want to see you here. I what actually are you talking don't. About? This is my house. How can I not be here? This is my house. This is where I live. That's our bedroom up there. Well, didn't you say it's my house as well? So see you later. Pack your things and get out, please. I don't love you anymore. And I don't want to ever see you again. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe Leah doesn't even remember me. She doesn't remember her own husband, her best friend. She doesn't even remember her kids. What am I going to do? I'm just going to have to live here in this treehouse until she figures it out, until she remember everything. Because if I go back there now, it's just going to stress her out. She's going to freak out. And maybe maybe she had that knife this morning over the bed because she wanted to kill me because she doesn't know who I am. She thinks I'm a stranger. Oh, this is the worst day ever. I'm after losing my wife and my home and my babies and my new family. And I'm stuck here in this silly little treehouse all alone. This is just terrible. Okay, I'm going to have to figure this out. I'm going to have to figure out a way to make her remember me, to get all her memories back, and to get my family back.